So these are my Cartier C Decor White Buffalo Horn. Genuine, 100% authentic. I have the box and everything to go with these. Um, today I'm going to be talking about authenticating jewelry, gold, um, Cartier sunglasses, tar Cartier eyewear. Uh, we're going to do that, so um, let's just jump right into it. Uh, I don't need no pauses, no, no cuts, no edits. Um, let's see here. So this is what the C should look like. This is it's not a C, it's a shoehorn. It's supposed to look like a sh like a shoehorn. It should look exactly like this. If it does not look like this, then they're not authentic. It's plain and simple. Shoehorn has to be There's telltale signs in it. Trying to get the right angle there. Let's see. If I can get the zoom in. Okay, so there you go. You see, it's like a shoehorn. It's got little indents right there. It's a nice, good, clean shot of the buffalo horn. Uh, look at that. So it should you should t be able to tell just by the horn itself like the arms you should be able to tell that this is if this is buffalo horn or not you should be able to tell if it's real bone or not if these are real then i mean they're real this is 100% see like this is bone it should look like real bone. Buffalo horn. There, I'm trying to get a good zoom. And you can tell. That it's bone. So if yours feels like plastic or just looks cheesy. It just doesn't look right. Then it's it's probably fake and I would uh, be really upset so I'm using this video for your guys sake because these are expensive and people think that you know they're getting real stuff and they're walking around wearing fake stuff and I don't I don't call people out because I mean it's disrespectful where I come from in Detroit if I had to call someone out on them I they would get offended and probably, you know what I mean? It's just disrespectful. So, I mean, I keep it to myself. Uh, I ain't no Cartier Busta or anything like that. But, I mean, I try to help out people that are trying to make purchases online or, you know, uh, in person. You know, this would be a good video to watch while you're there with the glasses in hand you know looking at these and comparing them so the genuine horn and Cartier let's see it's not as a, I gotta get a camera guys I mean if this video gets to 5,000 views I'll buy a new camera like I mean that's the only way I'll invest in it you guys help me out get this video out there to 5,000 views show your people that be looking at glasses trying to authenticate them and uh, yeah so right here there's a number inscripted right here it's a uh, try and get a good clean view of it it's hard. Alright, there you guys. I know it's going to zoom in. It's 
So there it is. It's uh, very faint. CT0046 I'm trying to read it through here. 469 004 CAT Yeah, so I'll read it. I, I can see it with my bare eye. Um it says CT zero zero four six S zero zero four CAT dot three. So the there will be different, you know, coinc uh circumstances where uh there will be nothing here. It'll just be blank. It won't say nothing. Uh, that doesn't mean they're fake, but I mean, if it has something like Cartier, Paris, or something like that, I I would be skeptical on them. Uh, I don't think they have them that say Cartier Paris on the right arm. So on the right arm should be where the serial numbers goes, and then on the left arm in the gold would be. Uh, sorry for the camera. Just the stamping of Cartier. See, you could just tell by the grain right there. Look at that grain. It's beautiful. Like, it, it might be dry. I think I gotta get these, you know, waxed up. Um, but it, look, you could see the bone. And you, you, this is what I love about my buffs. I'm, I'm looking to purchase my second pair. Well, I've had multiple pairs, but like I'm keeping this and keeping another pair. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Uh, you know, I've had black ones. I've had marble swirls. Uh, all kinds wires, woods. I've had all kinds of you know Cartiers, and this is what I'm with right now. And I'm building a collection slowly, so you could see the bone. You know, it's gonna say made in France up front, nice font right there. 135 is my size, it'll say 140. Most of a lot of them say 140. Um, those are uh, a little bit bigger, so the this arm will be bigger, just a little bit longer, is what I'm saying, not bigger. I'm sorry. Let me correct myself. One thing to look at when authenticating these is all of these letterings from the G to the number should all be up front just like this. Um, some say natural horn. Some say uh, genuine horn. But it will always say and it'll always be up front. It'll never be anywhere back, anywhere over here. It'll be up here, up front. So, the thing about mine is I got diamonds put in mine literally last week. So they kind of rubbed these in. They, I don't know. It's like they soldered them a little bit. Wheeled on them with the grinder or something. Because this lettering is a lot different oh, I just need to clean them honestly it says it says C 15C76 yeah so The lens comes with a pair of 53. It'll say Cartier 53 right there. And the screws will either have. So the screws, when you look at your pair, they can have really long ones. Those are for optical lenses, like thicker lenses, like people that wear bifocals and stuff like that. This screw right there will be really long. 
and uh, let's give it these an example like this screw right here these two screws would be really really long like these ones were cut down it looks like uh, to fit my pair which I'm not a big fan of I'm not happy they cut them but uh, yeah so this is what they're looking like it's not focusing what the heck see I need to get light so you guys can see wow it's not zooming in huh? what's going on here you know what you go holler at my buddy Mike and tell him Josh sent you he's gonna give you a deal on the, the diamond bridge they soldered it on to my original bridge and uh you know the stones aren't huge and it's it's but I mean they're genuine it looks like they're great graduated it looks like it goes from small to large uh, I like that mine have a See, mine have a nice swirl in there. A lot of people would just want all white buffs, like wh white buffs, and I'm like, nah, that's not where it's at. It's these are these are where it's at. That's how you know they're real. They got that yellow tint in there, and they're. The little defects, like like the orange little dots inside the horn, these are handmade. So you gotta think about it. That's why they cost so much money. They're handmade. So big shout outs to Mike over in Hamtramck. Mike, the jeweler, Detroit Jewelry. Um, I bought these there and the bridge and uh, shout out to Kamal as well I buy my lenses from both of them uh, I got a few pairs of lenses let me grab those let me set those down let's see here alright so a couple pair of my lenses So we got the green. Put it up to the light. See the it's green. These are the authentic Cartier. Lenses. You know. These are when I I feel like swapping out and just putting these in and I'm get tired of the clear. You know, I like to interchange them, so I like to keep multiple lenses. These are another pair of clear ones. They're different shaped, and they're a lot thicker. Look, look how thick that is. They're authentic Cartier, but they're just thicker, so they don't fit in the with these screws. So I would have to, they would have to swap out my screws with different pair of screws to put these lenses in. Um, see. I mean, there's all different shapes and sizes of these lenses, you know. People get circles. People like the ovals, circles, or whatever. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the circles. I like the... I like these shapes. Uh, they fit my face better, I feel. Uh, I have a smaller head. So, I mean, I'll show you <laughs> what it looks like on me. Let me see, it's a, uh, 
like that. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know if you can tell. This is the right one. I don't know. But yeah. If I had the flash on, these would be beaming right now in the middle. But it's not letting me use it, so. This is the YouTube record. Um, that's why if I would have just did the video and then edited it and put it up, I could have had flash on and shown you guys. I'll do that on my next video I'm about to make with the gold uh, authentication. So, after I make this video, I'm going to do another video how to authenticate gold jewelry and what to look for before you're purchasing stuff on eBay and uh you know online you wanna you wanna get the best of the oh you wanna get the best bang for your buck you wanna find the steals you wanna win you wanna come up you know so this is twenty four grams of gold we'll get into that you know i i got you i'll let you guys put in the comments how much you think I paid for this twenty four gram 10 carat Jesus piece so put in the comments how much you think I paid and I'm gonna let you know in the video alright so let's see here I, I believe we, we we went over the authentication process fairly well I mean these come in a pl uh, gold or platinum finish um, they come in brown black swirls white I'm sorry they come in swirl white swirl some marble like this it's like a you know I like it you know these retail for three thousand dollars on Cartier and uh Wow, this is not doing my diamond bridge justice. It looks, you know, more gold than diamonds, but that's it's not how it looks in person. So definitely not doing justice. I'll put the flash on and make the video, edit it on my next one. So keep tuning in, keep checking out. Thank you for looking. Thank you for uh, watching my video. This is what a pair of authentic Cartier sunglasses should look like. Without that, <laughs> um, yeah. So. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys for watching. No edits, no cuts in this video. This is just raw, authentic, me talking to you guys, you know. Um, you know. Yeah. It's my babies. Add to my kit. My Rolex is coming next. I have. I had a Rolex. I sold my date just. It was an 87. But, uh. Yeah, we'll get into that in my next video. Signing out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.